Here comes pressure by the Bears, and the open man is Marvin Jones, and Jones still on his feet, getting inside. Welcome back to a brand new era of Detroit Lions football, Marvin Jones. Welcome, the whole one pride is welcoming you back. We're thrilled to have you back, and I'm glad it doesn't make break the bank. Lions, Brad Holmes keeps making solid move after solid move. We got, still got $17 million in cash space. We just signed Marvin Jones to a one-year $3 million deal. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't work out, whatever. That's how I view these one-year contracts, man. It doesn't break the bank. And let's get into what wide receiver Marvin Jones means to that wide receiver room. You got Amon Rodgers, your number one guy. You got Jamison Williams as your 1A, 1B kind of guy. Then you got Marvin Jones, Josh Reynolds playing the 1, 2. And then we're probably still going to draft wide receiver. That room is getting more talented. Cause, and we're not going to run into the situations where we ran into last year where Amon Ross St. Brown got a little banged up. Jamison was out for a little bit until the end of the, end of the season. Then you, and DJ Chark was out. Then you had Josh Reynolds as your number one guy. Then you had Khalif Raymond. And then you had Tim Kennedy. Just keep adding talent to that room. And that's what Brad Holmes is doing. So we don't run into these dire situations anymore. I'll take wide, uh, Marvin Jones as a wide receiver three any day. Because when he was here previously, he was one to want the wide receiver one or the wide receiver two he can come in here take the stress off jameson take the stress off i'm in ross st brown let them get open because uh, uh marvin jones can still ball he's durable more durable than dj shark he's got good hands he's a solid wide receiver three and i'm glad he's back here in detroit man it's gonna be a fun year this is a the brand new lions it's a brand new era of football that he hasn't seen here in detroit and he's gonna be excited to turn this thing around and could you imagine if it went full circle for him for taylor decker grand glasgow uh, marvin jones now they were here during the darkest of times of the detroit lions under uh, brad holmes and not Brad Holmes, Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia. Now it's the brand new Lions under Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell. He's going to love it here. I'm super thrilled to have him back. So is the whole fan base. So let's get into point number two, the quarterback situation. We're talking about the Detroit Lions quarterback situation. Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell have both came out and backed Jerry Goff. But they said we still got to add talent to that quarterback room. Does that mean we're drafting a quarterback with the number six overall pick? I hope not. I don't think we need to waste one of those picks on a quarterback. I think later in the draft you're going to see us snag Hendon Hooker or something in the third or fourth round if he's still there or that Tanner McKee or Stenson Bennett we're still going to add a rookie to that quarterback room but he's going to sit back and develop under Jared Goff I don't understand the problem with Jared Goff like some people have some people wanted us to go after Lamar Jackson what is Lamar Jackson's record in the playoffs one and three he hasn't been to the Super Bowl he's banged up a little bit Lamar Jackson is a hell of a football player but it would ruin everything that the Detroit Lions have already started to build we cannot go after Lamar Jackson I know a month ago I was kind of about it when all the before free agency and before we made all these moves but now that the Detroit Lions made all these moves I want to keep all our draft picks keep adding talent to this roster because the Lions roster if we didn't even have the draft has gotten already better through free agency so i can't imagine what brad holmes who's hit on the last two drafts is going to do to this franchise man we're just going to get nothing but better there's talent all over this roster and it sucks when you get to the when we get to preseason there's going to be some surprise cuts that are going to surprise us marvin jones may even get cut uh, I'll, some of these guys on these one-year deals, they get cut, and it's going to be surprising. Jerry Jacobs may get cut. I hope not. But there's just so much talent on the roster. That means your team's getting a lot better. Yeah, it sucks. There's gonna there's been some ballers on our team the last few years that may get cut this year. But we're the brand new Lions now. We got we're gonna start playing and swinging for with the big guys this year. And last year, I thought we were already kind of swinging with the big boys. When we played the Buffalo Bills, that went right down to the wire. We played Green Bay in a big game, and went right down to the wire. We matched with Minnesota twice last year. We matched with the Cowboys a little bit. We matched with the Giants a little bit last year. We, I mean, we dominated the Giants last year. So the Detroit Lions are swinging with the big boys. Last year, they were playing with the big boys. Now it's time to start beating the big boys. Now it's time to start going for the division. Like Dan Campbell said, it's time. The expectations are here. Now, my expectations for the season moving forward is win the division, host a playoff game, and win a playoff game. That's my expectations. At least the expectations are scared. We're like, everybody is so surprised when you hear it on ESPN that Everyone's talking good about the Detroit Lions. It's awesome, but it's also frightening at the same time. But this is what you want your team to be. You want your team to have expectations. You want your team, it used to suck when you'd be like, oh, man, could the Lions do something this year? This Lions 
roster is so much more talented than it was when they went to the playoffs in 2014, when they went to the playoffs in 2016, when they went to the playoffs in 2011. Because all those rosters, all they had was a Matthew Stafford and a Kelvin Johnson. And then a little bit of a defensive help. This roster has got the best offensive line it's ever had, the more, most weapons it's ever had on, on, on offense, and a quarterback that's been to the Super Bowl and shown us that he can go to the Super Bowl if you surround him with talent and you give him a semi-talented defense, which they should be. They should definitely be in the top 15 with the talent. You've already added it, and you're going to add more talent through the draft. Now let's get into Jalen Carter. Do the Lions, I want at number six, I want the Detroit Lions to draft a big, scary defensive player, one that's going after the quarterback, whether that be Will Anderson, if you fell to us, Jalen Carter, Tyree Wilson, Miles Murphy, whoever it is at number six, that's who I want the Detroit Lions to go after. We need a quarterback. Keep applying pressure. You got. You already got James Houston. You already got Aiden Hutchinson. You got Romeo Cora. You got Julian Okora, Lee McNeil. You just keep adding to that defensive youth, man. It's going to be scary, and that's just going to make that secondary a lot better. I'm so thrilled with the direction the Detroit Lions are going, and we still got the NFL draft to go. I don't think we're done in free agency. We just added Marvin Jones. Welcome back to the Pride. We'll see you guys in the next video. One Pride sign out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Help the channel grow.